Hi, welcome to my online eMath classes. In this video, we will learn the topic locus, which is in the part of mathematics 1B. Take a look at the question. Find the locus of P if capital A is equal to 4 comma 0 and uh, capital B minus 4 comma 0 and uh, we need to find the locus of P according to the equation mod P A minus P B equal to 4 so write down solution Write down the first step as let P of x1, y1, P of x1, y1 be any point in locus, any point in locus. This is the first step you have to mention all problems, for all problems in this topic. Later, we have to mention the given points in the question. Take a look at the question. So, two points were given. One of the point is cap A comma cap A, which is 4 comma 0. And uh, capital B minus 4 comma 0. Next, we have to mention the equation it was in the statement or a direct equation here in this question the equation was mentioned as a direct equation like modulus pa minus pb equal to 4 so remove the model sign we will get P A minus P B is equal to plus or minus 4. Later, we have to move the term minus P B. We have to transform this minus P B to the other side. Then we have P A equal to plus or minus 4 plus P B. Next step, squaring on both sides. This is the procedure for solving this kind of problems. So students are advised to practice two or three times to learn this question. After doing whole square on both of the sides, we will get P A square equal to plus or minus 4 plus P B whole square. P A square. P is initial point. A is the terminal point. P is already. It was mentioned as X1, Y1. So, we need to consider this point. Capital A as X2, Y2. P A means distance between the points P and A. So we have knowledge about how to find the distance of two given points. Here I have mentioned the formula also here. If two points were given as cap A x1 by 1, here A, K, A comma B are uh, formula points not belongs to this problem so distance between two points a b is you can write either x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2 you can use any kind of pattern here 
and after that x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Here what you have to do is just subtract the x ordinates together and whole square take a plus sign and subtract the y terms as the singular and do whole square. That's what it is calling distance of two points. Distance between two points. You have to use the same rule for the points P and A. The point P is already x1, y1 and the point P capital A is x2, y2 which was 4, 0. Just do it like this. x1 subtract the x ordinates together x1 minus 4 whole square plus and take a difference of y ordinates together y1 minus 0 whole square. There is no need to take a square root here because it was already whole square. Fine. So square and square root were cancelled. And for this session, for this uh, right hand side, we have to use the rule a plus b whole square. a square, a square means plus or minus 4 whole square plus bb whole square plus 2 into a stands for plus or minus 4 and the term b stands for bb here. Now this implies x1 minus 4 whole square for this expansion we are using a minus b whole square rule x1 square 4 square is 16 2ab 2 into 4 into x1 so it is 8x1 y1 minus 0 is y1 only and doing whole square we will get y1 square equal to plus or minus whole square. First apply this square to these signs. Plus square, we know it is plus. Minus square is also plus. So you can directly write as a 4 square which is 16. Next, PV square. Take a look at the point P and the point B. The point B is we have to consider as x2, y2 now. For PB, P is x1, y1 and B is x2, y2. PB means distance between the points P and B. And distance formula is mentioned in green color. That means difference of the x ordinates whole square plus difference of the y ordinates whole square. So x1 minus half minus uh, 4 plus 4 whole square plus y1 minus 0 difference of y ordinates y1 minus 0 whole square plus into plus r minus plus r minus 4 to the 8 4 to the 8 pb Fine. And remember, here we are not using the distance formula here for PB. We are using the distance formula only for the terms P S square and here PB square only. Take a look at the both of the sides, Y1 square and Y1 square. Cancel. This implies x1 square plus 16 minus x 8x1, which is equal to 16. Let's expand this uh, x plus x1 plus 4 whole square using the formula a plus b whole square, which is a square means x1 square, b square means 4 square 16. 
plus 2ab means 2 into 4 into x1 8x1 data plus or minus 8 pb write down the 8 pb as the next step both sides 16 16 cancel x1 square x1 square cancel write down the remaining terms what left and other sides minus 8x1 is equal to 16 plus 8x1 plus or minus 8 pb Move the remaining all terms, same side, except this plus or minus 8p. Then we have minus 8x1, minus 16, minus 8x1 is equal to plus or minus 8p. So minus 8x1 minus 8x1 is minus 16x1 minus 16 is equal plus or minus 8pb. Here minus 16 is a common factor for these two terms. So minus 16 of we can write x1 plus 1 which is equal to plus or minus 8 pb and 8 goes to 16 in 2 times so minus 2 of x1 plus 1 is equal to plus or minus pb again do whole square on both of the sides So doing whole square means minus whole square that is positive and 2 square is 4 and x1 plus 1 whole square plus or minus pb whole square is just pb square which implies 4 of x1 x1 plus 1 whole square we are using here a plus b whole square rule for expanding this uh, x1 plus 1 whole square x1 square plus 1 plus 2 pb square means x1 plus 4 whole square plus y1 minus 0 whole square we already did this expression in our area. Take a look at here. pb square. We already did this. x1 plus 4 whole square plus y1 minus 0 whole square. Just expand it. Here, in this side, 4 into x1 square, 4x1 four square. 4 ones are 4. 4 twos are 8x1. Equal to x1 square plus 16 plus 4 to the right x1 plus y1 minus 0 is nothing but y1 take a look at the both of the sides the same terms exist as 8x1 just cancel them later move all the terms on the same side Four x one square plus four minus x one square minus sixteen minus y one square which is equal to zero implies four x one square minus x one square three x one square minus y one square minus twelve equal to zero. This implies. 3x1 square minus y1 square is equal to 12 and divide with 12 on both sides 3x1 square by 12 
minus y1 square by 12 equal to 12 by 1. 3 goes to 12 in 4 times. So x1 square by 4 minus y1 square by 12. 12 goes to 12 in 1 time. Therefore the locus is replace x1 with x and y1 with y. So we have x squared by 4 minus y squared by 12 is equal to 1 which is the required locus for this question. This is the answer. I am Yugandar, lecturer in mathematics. Thanks for watching this video. Give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel and express your opinion as a comment. Thank you.